afternoon, everybody. It is uh, Monday, June 6, 2022, at 6, p uh, 6 or 4 p.m., and we are at the uh, Aponacoat Regional High School, room 104, and I'll call to order the Freetown Board of Select Meeting. Um, as you know, this meeting is being recorded and will be available on our uh, website. Um, so first on the agenda is to approve the open minute sessions from 5-9-2022. I'll enter a motion to approve these minutes. Motion made. I second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, aye. Moving on is um, to approve but not release the executive session minutes uh, from 5-31-2022. I'll enter a motion to approve but not release those minutes. Motion made. Second. All in favor? Uh, aye. aye. Um, agenda item four, discussion to on which coming to award the bid for their flushing mantles and seeping pits. It looks like we only actually got one. No? We two. Two of those? Oh, sorry. Two uh, bids. One, one was for 31500 and the second from the same for $48,500. Okay, so JRD is the cheaper one? Yeah. Okay, so um, one, yeah, so JRD is 31500 CN Corp is 48500 Seems like a no-brainer. Any questions? No. All right, so I'll entertain a motion to uh, uh, award the agreement between the center, sorry, yeah, Town of Freetown and JRD Inc. for flushing manholes so we can covers for the water and sewer enterprise. I think you missed this step. So let's. Oh, sorry. Let's yeah, no, award no. the bid. Yeah, so I'll entertain a motion to award the bid of the flushing manholes and seeming pits to JRD Inc. Motion made. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 So now we also have an agreement with them. So I will entertain a motion to approve the agreement between Town Free Town and JRD Inc. for the Flushman Hole CB pits for the water and sewer enterprise. A motion made. Second. All in favor? Aye. All right. Uh, next is the procedure for joining Bristol Plymouth Regional Vocational Technical High School, High School District, and scheduling special town meeting. All right, Debbie, you have to yeah. help so, this one. So, yeah, so you're, you're aware that we have been in talks with the uh, Bristol Plymouth Regional Vocational Technical School to have Freetown join the school. Um, they, they had to get an agreement approved by DESE, which has been approved and sent to us. Now, all of the towns that are in the uh, district already have to approve it, but we also have to approve it, and we have to approve it at a town meeting. Now, we're also aware that they're building a new school, and that will be a cost to the town of estimated $10 million, um, probably $700,000 a year of, uh, of, de of debt. And in order for us as a town to afford that and not destroy our omnibus budget, uh, it, we may want to entertain doing a debt exclusion. So I'm just, I, number one, in order to join school, we have to have a special town meeting. Yes. Number two, my thought is, do we want to have a ballot question about that debt exclusion prior to? Because if the town d doesn't have the appetite to have a debt exclusion, but they vote to join the school, where we're, we have to pay that. We will be a portion, you know, we will have to, we'll be responsible for that. So I was, I would like to have a special town meeting to talk about the school in, I'm thinking August 15th. I do not want to wait till the October meeting because this has to be done by the end of the year, I believe. And I just want to give us some wiggle room if in fact there's another decision that needs to be made at the October meeting. Yeah, no, it does make sense. And of course, you know, town meetings take a lot of preparation, and it's not something that I can do quickly and put together quickly. So I wanted to just have this discussion. We don't necessarily need to make a, a final decision tonight, but there's just a lot that um, joining the Bristol Plymouth School, which is one would be wonderful for the students, but I think that people who are going to make that decision at town meeting need to know all of the information, yeah. and, and, and I don't feel like that we necessarily have vetted all of that information today. Yeah, we, and if I remember though, from the conversation we had when we had the presentation, we would pay based on how many students from Freetown went, right? So it's gonna be a variable cost. It's a percentage, right? It's so, percent, right? Yeah. Um, and it's not gonna be um, 
immediate. I want to say it will probably wouldn't hit our financial situation until 2024 or 25, if I remember correctly, because they've got to build the school. Yeah. And they haven't. They're just beginning. So you know how long the projects take. So it's not an imminent thing. It's just something that I feel the taxpayers should be aware of. Absolutely. And it's also the bigger situation there is that we don't, we won't have a vocational school for the kids in Freetown. Right. That's a, that's a, that's yeah, a bigger it, problem. But like, or we have to scramble. And there is no other option. They're all similar, right? Old Colony is going to be building a new school. Diamond just got approved, I think, to build a new school or a, a great renovation addition. I'm not sure. So the options are limited. And it, wherever you go, and I've looked at this information for the town, it is going to cost similar. It just be different timing, maybe. That would be the only option. And so I just. Um, so the ballot question. So I think it'd be important in the ballot question that we explain like the full picture. It's gonna be a very wordy. Because like if we just say, hey, voters, what do you feel about spending seven hundred thousand dollars a year for us to sign this agreement? It no, might not be. Yeah. You know, I think that's why I feel like there just needs to be a lot more information. Maybe yeah. we can have an information night. Yeah. Um, and, as and, well as multiple options, right? So then if you're saying hey, everything's gonna cost around the same show them that okay this is what if you went to Oklahoma, if you went to diamond whatever i'm not trying to create um, and they have to but like i'm saying yeah. like you know give them more than one option show them that it doesn't you know. they have to like they would have to open their doors to us too right like we know bp has opened their doors to us yeah. yeah, colony you know things were yeah not so good there i don't know that they would open the doors to us i'm assuming they would but we don't know that right and diamond has i don't even know if they've been I'm, you know, I'm late to the game with this, so mm -hmm. I don't want to speak and give misinformation that I don't really have because I wasn't here in the, while some of the stuff was going on. I just, I just feel like we need to start talking about it because this agreement has to be signed by the end of the year, or, or we, we we miss the opportunity. So that that was the discussion. So, Maybe we have an information meeting and then. Do you think we have an information meeting, like a, you know? Just as a regular board stock meeting, that, that that's the only agenda item. Okay, I mean and we can. What, what, yeah. what, what, before we do, or, or do you want to? Before we go to the special town meeting. Yeah, I just had. I was just gave a date. Uh, oh, like August fifteenth was the date you said for the special town for meeting. For special town meeting, but I just had a date for. There's another um, one of the HCAs for the. Um, cannabis companies they have to have a public hearing with, uh, with us and I just gave them a day of what I thought I just can't remember the day I'm, I'm going to be out of town first week of August just heads up I'm going to yeah, Las I Vegas say it was in July okay July, July 11th yeah, I'm pretty good in July July 11th I want to say it was July 11th do you guys want to have like an information do we need to do this later right now can we get back to you on the yeah. dates? Okay. Confirm. I'm going to schedule an information meeting with, with yeah. our, everybody's schedule. I'll take a look and we'll work on that. There'll be yeah. something on there that people can see. They get all the options in front of the Thomas people. we let them kind of so, chew on it. We'll put this on another agenda. Yeah, she, just so, updates. So, yeah, can, that, that makes sense. Maybe we won't go anything right now. Okay. But we'll, I'm fine with that. We'll, we'll, we'll push that aside. I, I totally agree with everything you're saying. I just want to make sure mm -hmm. that we. Don't That's why I'm bringing it up now, yeah, so yeah, we have yeah. time Let's to get ahead of this for sure. Mm -hmm. All right. Through. All right, great. Okay. All right, moving on. Uh, discussion to vote on the request for, uh, for appropriation transfer from the Old Colony Vocational Educational Assessment to other vocational uh, assessments in the amount of $8,500 to cover the cost for Bristol Plymouth. For transportation. For transportation, this is just related to the cost increased uh, yeah. fuel cost. So I'll introduce. I entertain a motion to approve that appropriation request or transfer. Motion made. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Discussion of vote on approving the Council on Aging um, Board's request to use funds from the formula grant or the South Coast Community Grant for materials to finish installing the floor downstairs on the Council on Aging. I need some numbers on this. Do we have numbers for this? So, so the there was money uh that was voted in prior year to redo the flooring at the coa uh, i think it was ten thousand dollars so they redid the kitchen and the tile the kick the tile area on the first floor uh labor and materials 
there's a little bit left over but not enough to finish it and rather than replacing the carpet they want to continue with the I think it's vinyl planking mm -hmm. so we have enough to pay for um, either the materials or the labor they're similar and the Council on Aging has this grant but in order to spend it they need to ha have an approved spending plan from the select board okay. so this is their way of asking can they use their grant monies to pay for what the residual so the dollar figure is around three thousand uh, dollars to finish the flooring because we're going to use you know we're we have some left over in that was allocated already for the flooring that makes sense to me yeah. all right i'll entertain a motion to uh approve the council on aging's board request to reuse the funds from the formula grant for the southwest community grant for materials to finish installing the Floors downstairs at the council on aging. Motion made. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so this is a discussion to vote on the open meeting law violation dated 5 28, 2022, and directed to um, and to direct town administrator to respond to the complaint as required by the Mass, Mass General Law. So, I mean, should I, I can speak to what. It, the, the, the open meeting law violation was submitted by me. I didn't announce that the meeting was being recorded, which is as required by section 20 F. Uh, since this request came in, we have been announcing that it's rec being recorded. So we've you know taken action to mitigate that. But um, so with that, I will, uh, I will initiate a motion to, how do I put this motion? To, uh, to direct the town. Yeah, yeah. I was saying, motion to direct town administrator to respond to the complaint as required by master on law. Motion made. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Next is to vote on which vendor will util, um, to utilize for the historic tax book and motor vehicle excise tax books. Now, is this the one we only got one bit back? Yeah. Yep. Okay. <laughs> Makes a real odd choice. <laughs> I, I knew there was one of my red. That didn't. So it's um, King Information Systems, and the quote is 16,665. Any questions or concerns on this? Yes, um, there's a memo in your packet yep. that the full amount to do the textbooks, the motor vehicle, book, the motor vehicle books, and new historical newspapers was 16,665. Yes. But we've decided to pull off the newspapers because they're not really the towns. Okay. They belong to the historical society. So it was so reduced this total amount. 10,000 ish? Yeah. yeah. What's it, sorry, what's the, I cut you out there. What's the total uh, ending total value so I can. This would reduce it record. by s the cost to $6,375. So I go over 10,000. Okay. All right. So that makes that's even better. Mm -hmm. So I will entertain a motion to um, to approve the, or I guess I will entertain a motion to utilize um, King Information Systems for the historical tax books and, and motor vehicle excise tax books. Motion made. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 And just so you know, all of that's paid for by a grant. Yeah, a grant that is paid for by a grant, which is great. Okay, so moving on, we have to vote on whether to approve the merchant agreement with AMG Payment Solutions for credit card and debit card charges at the boat ramp kiosk. And this was kind of tough because it might get voted in the next meeting to do away with all or most of the charges. So well, well, that yeah, I think it would still be, I mean, the for the boat ramp, no, that, that's no, the that, that, ramp, the no. ramp side is part of that, right? That's yeah. just for Town Beach. Yeah, that's well, the town board stick it's not that the policy. It's really a part of it. it wasn't. Do we have an article for boat ramp? Oh, was no, it was just Town Beach. Town Beach and uh, uh, transfer station. Oh, that's right. The second one's transfer station. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'll take it all back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no problem. So what? What is the I'm trying to? It's twenty five dollars a month. So it's twenty five dollars a month, and they'll process all the credit card payments and everything, and debit our account. That seems like an absolute no brainer. Yeah. Okay. I'll entertain a motion to approve the merchant agreement with AMG Payment Solutions for the credit card and debit card charges at the boat ramp kiosk. Motion made. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, and finally, on the my part of the agenda. Uh, discussion to vote to authorize the interim town administrator, Dave Petty, to execute any documents between the town of Freetown and King Information Systems. Just this makes the whole process a little more efficient. 
So I'll entertain a motion to um, to authorize Debbie as an interim town administrator to execute any document for the town of Freetown King Information Systems. Motion made. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. That's just because there's a deadline with that grant that things have to be done by, so it's yeah. a different part that we have to keep coming back. All right, perfect. Okay, over to you. All right, small board. That's number 12, discussion and vote on whether to approve Sergeant Benefit Benjamin LeBake's uh, on their GLC 41-111F. He was injured on duty status, effective 524-22. After reading the write-up, the report, and speak with him just recently, uh, I don't see any issues with approving that. Nope. All right. Any discussion on that? No. All right, I can a motion to approve uh, Sergeant Benjamin LeBake on um, Duty status effective 524-22. Motion made. A second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Number 13. Discussion and vote on staffing a town beach and boat ramp plan and pay rate. So as you know, we recently interviewed and put out there on I think a couple different occasions to get some people to apply for this position. And I think here we are again. I think I think the discussion was made try it one more time, increase the pay, to see if we can get additional bodies to get out there and, um, you know, do what they big do as far as, you know, patrolling or writing tickets or whatever it is at the boat ramp and the beach. Uh, while we wait for additional staffing and details from the police in conjunction with the two, right? So that's, uh, I think the only way to find out is to put more money at it, unfortunately, and see if we get more applicants. What's the uh, current, you want to remind me of the current? Uh, 15, 16 an hour? Something. 15 dollars an hour. 15. So. That's actually better than I expected, to be honest with you. Yeah. No, it's and we have just no applicants, really? Or no? We, we had three applicants, uh, two no calls, no shows, okay. and one applicant that did come in. Um, but we need just more than one person. Yeah, I hear you. So. So what are we, what are we thinking here? I mean. That's, that's where, that's where it is. Like, what's our next step? We go to. Gosh, will we pay our, our staff at Town Hall? Do we go near there, like 18 19 an hour, or do we um, go to? We pay our, our senior clerk entry level at $18. It'll be 18 to 88 July 1, I believe. And we have trouble getting those. And how, how many hours a week would this position be? Oh, what, 15, so, maybe? We're looking at what, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday? Well, that's Sorry. part of the discussion. Like, right. do you want to staff it? Last year it was Wednesday through Sunday, and work me because I know the man had a lot to do with this. Um, but this year we were thinking, you know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday holidays. So four days a week. You get, let's say, ideally you get three bodies, right? Split those four days apart, you know, four days. Are we looking at as many as we can get? I mean, staffing goes for and, and Saturday and Sunday, you may want to split the shifts and do like six in the morning to two and then 12 to six or eight because right. there's a turnover midday of the boat, the people, um, and it can get busy in the middle of the day. So we would, you know, we may want to. Um, yeah. So if we can get a lot of people to apply, we can get people hired. So I, get, I think the dollar figure is Two like 19 hour shifts a week or three, 15, you know, 12, 15, depending on who wants to work for. Yeah, I mean, I guess the good news is that you're not paying benefits, right? So, so you don't have to worry about if I'm paying 18 and change to an entry level person at town hall, they're still getting more out of the right. town than mm -hmm. the person who's going to work part time at the boat ramp each. Let me throw a curveball too. So I think right now, what is it, cap at 18 minimal to work there? I know some very responsible 17 and a half year olds that can do the job as well. Is that something we'd be entertained? I, I, I would have a problem with that. I don't know how, yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't have a problem with that either. I mean, I think it's a good yep. job for the high school kid, but I don't know if we're, allowed, is there any kind of like labor? I think it would be, to there take might be out there if, if they're touching money, but once the, the kiosk is there, Right? Is there yeah. anything that will stop us from doing that? The kiosk takes all the money. See, I'm not worried about the. the, the I guess. It's more you can like work at a Dunkin' Donuts I think or you whatever. Can, you can hire somebody. Hire somebody. Last year, the cemetery sexton was 17. Okay. And it was just something that we had the parent sign. Yeah. 
I don't see it. I don't see it. I mean, I think it'd be great, especially if you're making like 18 bucks an hour. It's a great right. summer job. Great right summer job rather than do yeah. that and wait until it goes. <laughs> More than I ever made when I was. Right. There you yeah. go. So, do, is, the, is that a motion that we want to entertain to increase it to $18 an hour? Yes. Yes. Um, this, I, well, I don't get a motion. Um, yeah, you can I make think, it. Yeah. I take a motion to increase this, the pay rate to $18 an hour at the bow ramp. Effective, uh, once we hire people, effective immediately. All right, I'll, I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All in favor? Uh, just uh, ramp, or do you want oh, beach, 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 ramp. Sorry. Uh, I obtained a motion to raise the pay rate at the beach and bowl ramp to $18 an hour. Oh, I'm sorry. The duties for, so at the bowl ramp, the duties, once the kiosk is in, um, maintaining the lot level. So I, I think it's 55 or so, give or take, 53, 55. Um, vehicles that can park there. Once the 55 vehicles are in place, no one else can park there to use the bowl ramp. Um, and also, if they're in there and they're doing their job and they turn around and there isn't somebody that's supposed to be there and they can go to the system and go to the person's license plate going, oh, this person doesn't belong here, they can issue them a, a parking violation, which then goes to the police station. And which we, so the, the, the attendants will issue a parking violation? Correct, they will write it down onto the kiosk and. Notify and we notify the police at the end of the day, or and, and I think one, yeah, it's one of the articles, right, for this evening is to in, in, empower that the the, somebody, yes, that, you know, for the police to empower somebody to issue those tickets, yes. So, and also, just it's good to have you know, just some eyes down there. If, if something does happen, they can they can reach out to you know, if it's if someone gets hurt or if some, you know, yeah, absolutely. A great example is past weekend, someone you know, had a medical emergency. No. Yeah, I know that in the past there was no way to communicate. Other, well, now we get cell phones. Yeah. Right? There was no way to communicate before. So one yeah. of the things we're looking at doing is with grants, different funds, is to add infrastructure to that shed. Whether that's uh, solar, battery, electrical, uh, radio communication, we're we're working that out. So communication is key. So that you're absolutely right. Getting a hold of whether it's fire, rescue, police, whoever it is, is paramount to the safety of the voters and to the staff, so absolutely. All right, so I think that, right, you, I yeah. Think, yeah, you got to finish that motion, okay. I think. Sorry. Any other questions? Okay. Uh, All right. So I intend the motion to increase the pay rate the town, beach, and bow ramp to a pay rate of $18 an hour. I'll make that motion. I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, so we're going to do signatures and then yes. you can make your After signatures. signatures. Yep. Yeah. We'll do signatures on camera. So, so yeah, part of a new ruling that came down, part of the open meeting law, we now will be signing, doing all their signatures at the end of the meeting on camera. So. Okay. If you have a question? I wanted to say something. Can I say something now or do we want to wait? I just wanted to bring something up for you guys. Is it on the agenda? No, it's not. So that's, so that's one of the things we're not really can't really talk about anything that's not on the agenda specifically, but if you want to grab one of us after the meeting. Well, I talked to Paolo. Uh, I always told the company this meeting, if not bring it up at the time. Okay. I'm right. not sure, I, I don't know what it is. <laughs> so she brought up the, she wants to bring up the cemetery. Okay. Oh, what happened over there, which is new business, or within 48 hours of this of this meeting. Yeah. Let's, um, I don't know what to do about that. So, the next yeah, we can we can definitely put something on the agenda for the next meeting, okay. and, and and then we can talk about it openly in open session. That'd be no problem at all. I, I think that's a good idea. Okay. Um, so, but if you want to talk to us, any of us individually after this, more okay. than ha more than happy to talk When's to you. When's the next meeting on today? The sixteenth. Yeah. June sixteenth. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. All right. I apologize. Just no, you know, okay. it's just a procedural kind of stuff. All right. Thank you. Though.
some screw up here. <laughs> The uh, payment solution, do we need all three of us to sign? Um, I think it So with, oh, one more, sorry. Okay. All right, so with that, I'll entertain a motion to go to recess and attend the special and annual town meetings. Motion made. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye.